because all of us is using it at the home. So yeah, you just feel very comfortable using the money so that in my opinion is by far the best one in esports. Now when you look at the comparison, it's again we're talking very, very small percentages, but that is the percentages that you are looking for when you are playing professionally. Going from 240 Hz to 360, it's a very small difference, but it is enough that you can see it and tell it even when just looking with the human eye right now. So yeah, I think it's nice. The difference from the 120 Hz to the 240 was very significant. You could really feel the difference there. Uh, you can still feel the difference from 240 to 360, uh, but it is not as big, I think, as the margin was before. For example, for me, you know, if I play versus Simple, Saibu, Brokey, and we are in these all fights where it's literally about milliseconds when clicking, of course, I'm gonna go for the edge of like the monitor updating with the Hertz faster. So yeah, I think it, it makes a difference in, in all fights, for example. I personally play with it uh, on, so I think it's a, it's a preference. I think that's the biggest difference for me is the spray with, within Counter-Strike. I think for me, it seems to be a little bit easier to control with the features that the Direct performs on than off. So I think that's been like the main priority for me because I tried both. Obviously, when you play with Down and he's so good, sometimes you're like, hmm, is it what makes him better than me sometimes, you know? So yeah, I tried both, but I, I like it more on. I tried plenty of the monitors who's like been proclaiming to have the extra hertz and stuff, but it just hasn't been feeling natural. The latency delay, the MS has been maybe higher. It just doesn't feel comfortable still. When you play the big games, you really want to feel comfortable. When you're in the clutches and stuff, you're left by yourself and it's just you, the peripherals and the mind against the other players. And I think, you know, having that same feeling as you have when you sit at home, knowing the settings, knowing the colors of the monitor, how your mouse reacts when you turn around and stuff is super vital. So I tried other monitors um, also with higher Hertz, but I've never had even like close to the satisfaction as, um, as with Zoe.